Okay, so I have one of these little wood plaque things from the Dollar Tree from last year. They may have them this year, but if you have one and you didn't know what to do with it, I might. I might be fixing to show you. I don't even know. But you see, I have these two wooden dots because one of the holes was out and one wasn't, and I just wanted to cover it up and add some more 3D texture to it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. But I have to paint first, and i got to get down in these grooves, so I'm using a little flat brush, and I'm using this blue paint from Hobby Lobby. It is chalk paint, but I don't want it real stark, okay? I want it light, so I'm going to mix it um, with some... Well, this is, this is not... I use acrylic paint here. That other paint wasn't right, and it wasn't a lot in it, so I'm just going to mix white with it and then water. And this is what I'm going to use to mix up and paint the sky and it's going to be a very very light light blue color because i want to paint the truck blue as well but i wanted the sky blue so it's going to be real real light and i'm just going to take this brush and go in between here some people like to see people paint y'all honey i am not bob ross uh so um you do not want to see this okay it's just boring in my opinion so I'm just going to go through and skip what um, I think needs to be skipped. You'll get the idea of it. This I'm showing you I'm going to use a smaller brush. Um, that was done and I added a little more white with it. And I kind of went lighter as I went down. If you could see that it just got lighter towards the truck. Now I'm taking burnt umber acrylic. And I'm just going to use the burnt umber to paint the branches and the outside frame okay just the branches and the outside frame with burnt umber or any brown you choose to use now i'm going to take a green paint i'm using dark but it doesn't matter just green paint whatever suits your fancy um and i'm gonna paint my leaves with a smaller brush uh you know i, I was looking at this and i was thinking you can do this with markers as well you can use sharpies or um, you can use watercolors or whatever you want to do. But now I'm just going to take the blue and I am going to uh, color my or paint my truck here. Um, then that's painted. I know I'm going kind of fast, but like I said, I'm not Bob Ross. So now I'm just going to take this lighter uh, chalk paint and it's celery. And I'm just going to paint this grass part down here. Um, you can mix colors if you want to. Uh, it's not that. You, you can do this however you want. This is just a picture, and I'm here for inspiration, and this is what I'm doing. You do what you choose, okay? This is just me. After I get the grass painted, I have this uh, wood disc, and I wish it. I had two of them, but I didn't only have one. So I'm going to use it, and I'm going to trace a tire back out because God knows I cannot draw a uh, circle like that. It would be lopsided we'd look like we had a flat spot on our tires so I'm using this and kind of cheating a little but I'm getting my tires drawn on there and then all I'm going to do is take paint you can easily do this with a marker um, sharpie black sharpie but I'm going to paint my wheels on okay and here I'm just taking an ordinary popsicle stick nothing fancy it seemed to just fit the width best and I'm taking my scissors and I cut the end off and then I'm going to kind of trim it in its roundness with my just plain old craft scissors and then when I get the width you know to go or the the little curvature to go around the tire then I'm going to mark it with my little pink tool and then I'm going to cut it with my miter shears now you can cut it with scissors but it splinters your wood so I'd prefer my miter shears but you can do it with scissors now I'm going to take these wood craft sticks and I love these things I get them at Walmart and I'm going to use them to build me a, um, a little, um, I don't know, trailer. What do you call that? I don't even know. You know what I'm doing? Look, I don't know what it is, but you see what I'm doing. You know, you, these are on trucks. The farm trucks that haul stuff. So I don't know what they are. Rails. I'm going to put my rails on. My wood rails. That's all I know to call them. But anyways, <laughs> you, you see what I'm doing. And these top ones, I will tell you that I cut a little bit too long because I got up in my tree back there and wasn't happy with that so I ended up cutting them down but anyways I'm just going to 
place one on the truck and then the one above the truck and it looked like <clears throat> excuse me sorry about that y'all tis the season right um anyways i'm just gonna build my little little frame here okay i have them all cut out and i'm gonna take this it's a taupe color and i get it at hobby lobby i love it especially for fake wood and i'm going to use this to paint all of my little truck bed pieces and then um, I'm going to use one of those silver metallic markers from the Dollar Tree. You'll see me in a minute. Um, right here I think I show you. Yeah, these silver markers and I'm just going to paint all of my, you know, I guess these are hubcaps and um, my little bottom pieces. Now once all those are painted, I am just simply going to take quick and thick, tight bond quick and thick, and glue everything down. I am going to show you that I found a little sliver of wood that I snipped off uh, over there. And I painted it with that same silver thing to make a little handle, but shoo, I had to use tweezers in this pokey tool to get that on. But it, it, was, it was done. Now there it is, and I had to cut that down. Now I am just going to take that gray cover, color cover, good Lord, I'm cold, I guess, I don't know, but anyways, I'm taking that gray and I'm just going to distress around my frame. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, this is just, you know how I am, I'm a distressor, I'm distressed and, and I do my projects that way, I guess, I don't know, it's just the style I like, okay, that's just what I like, so that's what I'm going to do, you don't have to if you don't want to. Once I get the frame the way I like it, I'm going to take this and I'm going to barely touch my truck and I'm going to kind of, um, I guess, frame it out, maybe, uh, put lines in it to give it a little character. Um, I end up with a pencil later and I'll show you what I've done with it, but right now I'm just using the paint to add a little dimension and um, characteristics. Now, I'm wanting to add these decals, and since I use chalk paint, I'm going to get a, bit, a little sanding and wipe it down really, really good. Now, I'm going to pick words off here that kind of make sense to me, and then I cut them out, and I'm going to lay them down where I want them, and then I'm just going to take my tweezers. Now, if you touch this transfer, it's going to transfer on your hand or anywhere it sticks, and once it sticks, it's stuck. Let me tell you, so you got to be very careful with these, okay? So I'm just going to rub these down first, and I am using, um, I don't know what I'm using, a piece of that stick, I think, I don't know. Use whatever you got, whatever you can. To be honest, the end of those tweezers is what worked best for me. That um, one that I got in my hand right now, it was harder, and I was able to press it into the wood a little better, and uh, it worked out great. Now, if you use this end, you have to um, watch it because you could take a chance of it coming up. But you just grab whatever and rub these down. As you can see me, I'm, I'm using anything and everything. Now, if the Dollar Tree rub-on transfer doesn't um, stick to your surface and you see it on your plastic, you simply lay it back down, rub again. And this is any transfer. And rub it again where that area is and it'll transfer right down as long as you don't move it and you lay it flat back down where it belongs you'll be fine then I just push it down into the wood and I'm done with that set of words and I'm gonna lay my other set down and do the same thing this is the end that I was using that worked best for me uh, just wanted to show y'all and you could actually see it lifting because it was a harder um, surface I mean, a harder tool to push down on that surface. And here is where I use my pencil to define my truck a little bit and not make it look so childish. And I just drew on there where I wanted my lines and then rubbed with my finger to, to smush it in. And I put little um, lines on the leaves and circles on my tire caps. Then I took lavender from Walmart, cut sprigs, and put it down in there. Now for this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm using one of these signs I got last year. They'll have them again, or you can use any sign, it doesn't matter. But this sign was kind of big, so it worked out kind of perfect. But I could have used less room, uh, you'll see, when I'm, when I'm working. But when I pulled them off, some of the paper started coming off. So I'm just going to try to peel as much as I can off. 
and then I painted it with that light blue that I had left and it's cute and then I just took white and swirled little uh, clouds in there and then I have this wall decal I thought would be so cute for spring now this would look gorgeous in a in a child's room and you have all these stickers I didn't like that little guy because he don't match the rest of my you know the other two bunnies I want these two to match and I end up changing this but I'm just going to let you see what I've done because you might like this look I mean that's up to you so I'm just going to stick my bunny down and uh then I'm going to place the other one down. And these are so cute. I mean, I just, I think it's cute. It's just, I don't know. But anyway, then I, my idea was to put the grass down on there and it would just be a cute little picture, but that did not make me happy. And this was hard to peel off without pulling your little grass things off. So I placed the grass down. This is what I, one of what I wanted to show you, but I didn't end up going with, okay? Um, I realized that there was going to be a lot of, you know, blue down underneath them, and I didn't want that. So I'm going to take my green. This is just a lighter green. And I'm going to take a uh, flat brush as thin as I can, and I'm going to start painting, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I cannot talk today. I'm going to use this brush sideways to make little um, grass sprigs at the top. Here goes my voice again. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to paint carefully around my bunnies, and then you'll see me. I'm just tapping and pulling to get those grass, um, the grassy look up there. Once I got my grass painted on, I went to place the stickers on. And I'll, like I said, I'll show you what it looks like, but I did not like it at all, okay? I just didn't care for it, so I ended up peeling him back off. And I will tell you, when I peeled it off, I peeled part of his little foot off over there, but I painted over that and fixed it. Um, you can't even tell when I got done, but I just did not like that look. I mean, you might, but I didn't. And anyways, I ended up taking them off, but you see the little butterflies? I was going to stick the bird on, and then... I was like, no, it's too big. It, it's just, ugh. so I put it back. You can do that. You can stick all these stickers on if you want to. It's up to you. I'm just going to put butterflies randomly around these little bunnies because they're just, you know, it's springtime and it's cute. But like I said, when I get done with this, it, it, it could easily go in a kid's room. Um, look, that one just landed on his book. And after placing my butterflies, I don't know what happened to my camera but I used these painted things they were these from the Dollar Tree and I painted them with that gray color it took four coats to paint these things should have spray painted them, it would have been easier but all you do is peel and stick them and I stuck them around the sides cutting them where I needed to and I thought this added a little character and then I have this book of uh, stickers I got it at I think Michael's when they had a sale and I'm just picking off random flowers and I'm going to put them down in the grassy area wherever I think they should go. Now you can use any stickers. They have stickers at Walmart. They have stickers at Hobby Lobby. They have stickers anywhere. And you can use whatever stickers you want to accomplish the look that you want. This is just my, you know, what I done. Here's what it looks like after I am done sticking on all my stickers. Like I said, you can style this however you want. And now I'm going to seal it with matte Mod Podge and I'm going to put it all over and a butt ton it looks like, <laughs> but it's not okay. I, these stickers are thick, so I, I wanted a thick layer of Mod Podge to seal them. So I'm just going to um, put it over the stickers and seal them down as well. Uh, I mean the beads and then I am just going to set this to the side and let it dry on its own Now in my stash I had this cutesy sheer ribbon and I got it from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna place it in here But I, after I flipped it over I seen that back and thought oh crud So I just get a piece of craft paper and I take a glue stick and I glue my whole board place my paper down and then take a little uh, X-Acto knife and cut around the board. And then I'm going to take my pink pokey tool and I'm going to poke my holes back through the craft paper because I have to string my ribbon through there. 
Now I'm going to cut a long angle to get a point, okay? And then I'm going to take a lighter, and I burnt that and curled it so bad. But anyway, I do it again. You have to lightly use a lighter, and that'll make that hard so you can kind of poke it through. But I use my little, um, those fine-tipped precision, precision tweezers and pull it through. And I think I have a pair of these in my Amazon store. If not, you can pick them up at Hobby Lobby in the yarn department. Um, they're kind of expensive, but I love them. And then I'm just going to tie a loose knot. Because if you tie a tight knot in this shear, it's going to pull through. You need a loose knot. And uh, that sounds like I said loose snot. You need a loose knot. You don't want to lose your snot, okay? This, it's the time of year, but don't do it. Um, that's gross. I'm sorry. You got that for free. Um, and then I just trim it, and I singe it so it don't unravel, and that one is done. And here's the look at both of them finished, and everyone has their own taste, but I think they're cute. And y'all know what to do to help a girl out, so you are a blessing. See you next time.